Good morning, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. It is, stand by, Saturday, December 4th at 6.40 a.m. We're here in the yard. I just, as you guys saw, fired up the rotator. Uh, we're gonna be leaving here and headed down to Mecca where we're gonna lift a generator off of a trailer that just came in. It's, I guess, a brand new delivery. Uh, yeah, the customer called us to lift their new generator off the trailer so that they could uh, put it to work. So that is what we're doing this morning. I'm uh, walking over to the Blue Pete here because I believe my Carhartt jacket is in here. Let's see. Uh, no, it's not. I wonder where I put it. That's no good. Hmm. I'm trying to think of when the last time I wore it was. Well. Oh well, I'll grab another jacket out of my uh, car, I guess. Okay, I found it. It's, uh, it was up in my office. All right, well, I got the rotator all fired up. Should be aired up by now. Let's go ahead and head out and see what we got. I already got some pictures of the generator. It looks like a pretty simple deal. I think it's gonna be similar to the uh, previous one you guys saw recently of us doing over at CAT. So uh, there's the rotator all fired up. Let's do it. We're gonna be working in a dirt lot. That pisses me off, but it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Make your money, make your money. So let's do it. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go head cam on this one because there's gonna be a lot of moving parts and I don't want you guys to miss anything. So uh, we also got ox cam going as well. So basically the plan today is we're gonna lift it set it right there so that way we can come back on a different day and take it down one of these rows and what we're gonna do is uh, get the generator on its skids so that generator has uh, it's on a skid mount so where you can pull it around to where you need it so uh, we're gonna lift it up obviously and then we're gonna remove the stands that it's on so that way it's strictly on the skids and then we'll come back another day with the tractor and uh, the rotator and we'll pull it into place down a row uh, all the way down that row is where it needs to go at the very end and then we'll back the rotator in behind it and lift it into place but we cannot get obviously we cannot get the truck and the rotator back there at the same time so that's why we got to do it that way <laughs> Keep, I'm gonna go just one side because this is a row of traffic, so don't wanna block that in too bad. I'm gonna grab two outrigger pads since that ground over there is a little bit soft. So let's take two over there. Hang on one second, buddy. I'm gonna have you come back a little more. I'm gonna have you come back a little more. So the other tow truck lifted it from these? Oh, it's tilted. Put a strap all over. Same thing on the other end and then lift it off. Oh, I see. Okay, I gotcha. You might have sucked to get the strap out of the hole. I bet. Huh. Okay. Well, you got a different idea, you can. Yeah, I think i do a little different. No lifting loads up here, it's kind of surprising. Alright, I think our best route here is gonna be uh, Then through 
adjustment on this one trying to get it where it needs to be so hopefully not too much let's go ahead and take reds here Do you think I could get you to pull forward and shift yourself over about three feet so you were center with my truck? Because right now we're kind of this way. Appreciate it. Uh, grab one more bundle here. So I think the concept here, we're gonna do four legs. Okay, there's my four leg, or one leg of four. Something like that. I'm making them intentionally long because I don't want to crush the side of this. You can see that the previous lifter kind of already did that. So we are going to try our best to avoid that. get me over the top okay outriggers coming down all right all the way up still got the steers on the ground so we'll go up a bit there all right we'll start blowing some boom and cable out Can I get someone to hold this and walk it over like this? Hold it right here. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go up, okay? What's up? Get a rope, it's gonna go all the way. Nah, it'll stay. Yeah, yeah, it'll stay. Can I, Ray, can you have someone come on this side to control this side? What was that? Could you have one of the guys come over here and control this side? Just, can you translate for me? And just have him hold this side just like he's holding that side? Uh, That's fine, okay, thank you. 
Yeah, just keep it away. You can just start holding the straps now. Just keep it so it doesn't get caught on anything, please. Thank you. Okay, that should be good there. Probably gonna pick up a little uneven because there's so many variables with the chains and everything, but it should be relatively decent. Um, Ray, can you translate for me, please, and have them shift the blocks? They have it, so it's gonna be set this way. I'm gonna set it, I'm gonna pick it and set it just like this. So that generator is gonna be facing this way. So can you have them rearrange the wood over there so it's like this? Thank you. Okay, we got 7,000. Okay, we're airborne over here. We are on uneven ground. Got 9,000. Get it up. I'm gonna go ahead and boom in and up. Wait, we got 10,000. Ah, okay. We're going to have to reset it. Links up over there. Let's see, so we need to go. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Okay. I just uh, go ahead and leave it like that. I just have to shorten the chain on this side so it lifts it quicker. Okay, uh, let's try it again. It's just this, uh, there's too many variables. The chains are. I'm gonna go up and then swing it around this way, yeah. Yeah, there's just uh, the chains are different lengths and there's different the holes are different, so I have to adjust. Boom 
came up with it. Get the light. Huh? Almost. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're up. Still super uneven. That's okay. That's why I rigged heavy, because... Yeah, if you want to take that hook and just hook it up somewhere, and then you can pull forward for me. Thank you. So it is 13.5. Yeah, you're good. So I rigged it heavy because of this very reason. Um, basically, you need to assume that at any given point, this half of the rigging could assume 100% of the load, which, I mean, obviously it's not, but there is more load on this downside than there is the top side for sure because of the lean it's got going on here. Yeah, you're good, buddy. I'm good. Thank you. Well, I'm just, I want it high enough so I can pull the uh, the stands off. Oh, uh... Do we, can we get one more? One more of these, is that possible? One more of the rock? Yeah, one more of these uh, timbers? Yeah. Okay, one more? Yeah, okay. Okay, ready? Good? Yeah?
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even close out the video. Um, that was partially because my camera died, as you guys saw. I, luckily, it was toward the end, and I didn't think, you know, you guys have seen me put chains and all that stuff away millions of times. So uh, I figured it would be okay if I didn't put a battery in. Uh, check that out. Here's my grandpa's uh, Thunderbird. Pink. Pretty cool. They are uh, gonna take, I guess, that car, and a, uh, they're gonna take the old tow truck. I'll show you that really quick. Uh, they're gonna take the old tow truck to a car show tomorrow. It's like a coffee and car. It's kind of like an informal car show. Just show up, drink coffee, chill kind of thing. Um, so with that being said, we are back at the yard. Rotator is parked. We are gonna be going back out to that same location on probably Tuesday or Wednesday to complete the job and take it back out. Uh, we're gonna have to move it from that location to it further inside the farm where uh, they can actually utilize it. So basically all we were doing today was just offloading it from the truck so that way they could see it, figure out how they wanna place it, and then we'll come back later uh, with probably the rotator, a great all, a land all, and another guy to make it happen, I think. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video today. Short video, it's a Saturday. I have an eye appointment that I have to go to. Uh, that I've been pushing off for way too long. So I'm gonna try to sneak out of here and do that. Uh, but I'll show you a few little things here before uh, we head out. So let's go and see what else we got going on. All right, so this morning, Tommy just got back from uh, LA Staples Center with that generator that you guys saw in the last video. Um, Roberto looks like he's got the service truck out. We noticed uh, that this tire this is the new one. This uh, tire had steel cords showing, so we're swapping that out. Get that all prepped and ready to go. So that's what's going on there. 
And then it looks like in the meantime, they went ahead and grabbed a uh, 10K fork that's going to Calipatri on Monday. So that is what's going on right now. I believe they got the uh, old tow truck all fired up. Ah. Yeah. What do you want me to move? Go take. Watch that. steering on. I haven't used it before, so how, like this? Yeah, get down in there. Oh, wait. Yeah, the other way, latch on the there. Bring the beat up. Please. You're not, you're not hooked, you're just hooked on. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Have you done it with a semi-tire yet? No, like this? no, no, no. Okay. that's what I'm going to do. going to try it? Um, I don't think it's going to come all the way out. Look, and this is in the way. Is that how What's you do it? What's in the way? Get yeah. out. Well, watch your fingers. I don't want to smash your fingers. Too much of a. Hey. No, it's way down there, dude. Well, don't do it. You yeah, can't. You gotta barely grab it. Yeah. I think you. I think we need to use like one of the big bars that we use. I think this. this yeah, one over there. The, the, the one that's got the little lip on it that we can grab the lip of the tire. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Bring it up. Yeah. Yeah. You want to just try it from there? Oh, you need to get another bar in there. Turn it the other way. You need to get get that that big bar out of there because it's. Well, where's this supposed to just? It's supposed there to. There you, there you go. go. That's what we want. We wanted to get it over that lip, that tool. Yeah. See if you can get your big bar out. Yep. Okay. Watch your fingers there. Go ahead and get this out as soon as you can. There. Oh, yep, yep. Okay. Down it. Better. Burn it. <laughs> you here for lessons? You're here just to get out of guys' way. Be kind of boss. Want boys and girls? Motley trout. No. <laughs> what the? Bro, other, other way. Other, other way. Other way. Yeah, there you go. Grab oh, the lid. We're going to just go get involved like this. Get, get, get it out of that bead and then bring it up. And then, oh, it's supposed to be on that Probably. metal thing? No. Or does it matter? It doesn't matter. Okay. So, right there? Probably help you. You get a little more. You need a little It'd more. It'd probably help you if you're on that metal. Yeah. In other words, we can't, you got to get the bead up on that, up on this here, otherwise it's not going to remove it. So, you need to stick it's another bar in there. Right, I wish I could join you guys Yeah, I'm sure you're so, you're so excited. Union break. Break. <laughs> break. break. He's <laughs> calling me. <laughs> Breakfast. Stick it in a breakfast right shower. Are you trying to get it? Try to get this bar up on the metal. I was going to stick it in there. It gives okay. you more. Oh, okay, good. Oh, which one? Which one? Let me see. There you go. Yeah, hold, hold it up. Turn your yeah, bar. Yeah, I'm going to put. Hold on. Turn I'm going to get around. in there. You want me to get in there? Turn it around. Get over here. Get your hand off of it. See if you can stick it in this way. 
Did that? Yeah. There you go. Now I don't need this one no more, right? No. Nope. You got to this lip now, so now it should be able to run the machine and it'll oh, you got it. get this bar out if yeah. you can. All right, go keep going. It's just not, it's not doing anything. It's So as you guys saw, that's our uh, new tire machine. We've always had a tire machine to mount like small tires. Um, we've always done truck tires by hand and we did not specifically buy that for truck tires, but it is capable of doing, I think 17.5 to 22.5. So we figured we'd just try it out, see how it works. Uh, as you guys probably saw, it's probably a lot quicker to do it by hand. Definitely harder on the body to do it by hand, but it, you know, that's that was kind of a pain. Um, Mark and my, or my grandpa would have been done with a truck tire mounted and everything a lot quicker but it's an option it's there if we need it and it could be helpful especially the bead breaker on the side that's helpful and then it just can be helpful for stubborn tires some tires are stubborn especially when it's cold it gets gets a little more stubborn and uh, hard to do so it's an option not something we would probably use every day or for every tire but it is an option so yep all right guys i think i'm gonna call it a day uh at least for now if anything if i have to you know if anything else happens i will roll the cameras again but i'm pretty sure it's going to be the end of the day i'm going to go ahead and uh, get my eye appointment knocked out and then probably just get some paperwork done for the rest of the day saturdays are usually kind of slow um for the most part so modesto so with that being said thank you for watching thank you for tuning in as always a little like comment subscribe thank you for watching let me know in the comments what you thought about the video we will see you on the next one thanks for watching guys